Welcome back. It's a big day for our Iowa high school boys wrestlers as day one of state wrestling is kicked off. That's where our own Noah Sacco is. Give us a scoop. Madness on the mats has begun. Full throttle here at the Wells Fargo Arena, the site of the IHSAA State Wrestling Traditional Tournament. 1,008 total qualifiers, 116 of them from Siouxland, and it comes with a new format. The field expanding from 16 to 24 qualifiers in each weight of every class, with the top eight qualifiers in each weight getting a first round bye. So with that, let's get right to the action for the first two rounds in classes 1A and 2A. Iowa, one of the best state supporters of wrestling in the nation, wrote to gold starting in the first rounds for 1A. 120 Sioux Central's Caben Morrow securing the fall over Tri Center. His day, though, ends in the second round. 138 KP's Tyler Orzakowski flipping the hips for the reversal. He wins via 4 2 decision. Up to 152 Woodbury Central, Zach Butler getting the near fall for three over Pocahontas area's Verdi Clock. Tech fall win goes to Butler. Meanwhile, in 170, GTRA's Jordan Saul with a huge takedown late. He wins with the decision, later advancing to the quarters with a fall. To the 1A second round, state runner-up Cale Morrow of Akron Westfield wasting no time in 113, gets three on the early near fall. Another soon after, 15-0 tech fall win for him. We'll see the junior tomorrow, his pursuit of glory staying alive. I'm looking for blood. Um, you know, when I get to the finals again, I'll, I'll be experienced, I'll know what to do. I'll, be, I'll know the setting. I think I'm just going to be coming a lot more prepared. To 138, Charlie Veed of East Sac County gets upset by Al Burnett, but West Sioux's Mikey Baker and Emmitsburg's Ryan Brennan stay in hot in 145 with a pin and decision wins. I got here last year, got beat. Some more stuff to learn from. More like push to do better this year. 160 now, West Monona Whiting's Caden Brower advancing with a thrilling pin, showing the emotion after, but Western Christian's lone contender in Gavin Who moving on to the 285 quarters with a fall. And at 195, 43-0 Jackson DeWald of Westwood putting strength on full display, early takedown leading to a one-minute pin. Top seed senior remains unbeaten, one step closer to avenging his back-to-back -back state runner-up finishes. Every match is the most important. The one that's right in front of me is the most important. Can't look ahead you know quarters semis finals whatever it is it's right now right here up to two way second rounds and all Siouxland showdown in 106 SBL's Jaden Curry and Bishop Heelan's Nico Venturi back and forth Venturi gets the position holding on for the five to four decision as West Lions Ethan Erpenbach falls in overtime to Williamsburg tough break in 113, the title run of BHRV's Gabino Vargas ends via 3-2 decision to Eagle Grove. Well, SBL wakes up in 120. Three-seeded Ethan Scoglin moving on with a 3-1 decision victory, while Bo Kudum notches the pin in 132. His older brother Ty following the mold in 145. Three on the board for control and route to a 9-3 decision win. Good day for the Warriors and a great day for undefeated Jack Wajda. The Spirit Lake product with a powerful takedown in the third period, sealing the deal against Knoxville in a 5-2 decision. Wajda inking his place in the 160 quarters, and his intentions are clear. I intend to finish as high as I can, whether that's at the top of the podium or a few notches down, then I know that I came here, I wrestled as hard as I can, and whatever I leave with, I'm happy. Wrapping up in higher weights, Heelan's Sir Brandon Watts suffered a huge upset fall in 160. Undefeated Ethan DeLeon dominant in 170. The Nebraska commit getting shoulders tilted, flip it around for another takedown. 19-4 tech fall win, that advances him into tomorrow. Now that's how you start a tournament. A big pool of Sioux Landers punching their ticket to tomorrow's quarterfinals in classes 1A and 2A. But the day isn't done just yet. Coming up tonight, the first two rounds for class 3A, we'll see which Sioux Landers join the quarterfinal crop tomorrow. Now Anthony, I'm going to go and get back to the action because there's a lot of it. So with that, I'll send it back to you from Des Moines, Noah Sacco, KC9 Sports.